Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples, peace squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. We want to bring others with us. So let's get it popping. Let's get it cracking. Like, let's start off with the shy. Let's start off with the writer of the show, which is Leah Waithin. So basically, she released a statement saying that she wished Tiffany Boone the best and everything like that. And she hopes that she has a great and wonderful career, but she needs to get back to work to work on season three of The Shy. So the information boils down to, you know, wait and knowing about what was going on with Jason Mitchell. Jason Mitchell is like the star. Everything revolves around Jason Mitchell, which is Brandon on the show. And so basically what really went down was people was complaining about Jason Mitchell. It was Tiffany Boone. Um, she was complaining about, you know, um, Jason Mitchell because of the situation. And, you know, Tiffany Boone was like, listen, this is what's going on. I'm being harassed. They end up having a presentation on harassment and appropriate behavior on a set. Jason Mitchell attend and the rest of the cast attend the um, presentation that was put on by the HR department, which um, the show, Ronna Floyd, she was involved in. And then on top of that, the next season, that was season one, and then season two came along, and Jason Mitchell allegedly kept doing the harassment and his inappropriate behavior. Tiffany Boone, she complained and complained, and other actresses on the shy complained too as well, and then HR got involved again, and then it just boiled down to it that they couldn't do nothing with Jason Mitchell, and so he was fired from the show The Shy, and then he was fired from Desperados, fired from Networks, fired from Fox, fired from any productions that he was going to be a part of. He has been fired. And then on top of that, he was dropped by his manager, he was dropped by his lawyer, and he was dropped by the talent agency, too, that he was signed up to. So he's been dropped. He's gone. It's done. And I don't know what's going to happen with this situation, but Jason Mitchell has been out here and has been taking pictures, but basically women have been out here complaining about him. And also Nassim Pedra, she also complained about Jason Mitchell on another cast, another show, and she said that he was harassing her too as well. And then on top of that, in a camp, she was also complaining about Jason Mitchell, saying that he was inappropriate, his behavior, and all the other stuff so jason mitchell is out here and jason mitchell he was out this weekend just taking pictures with fans he looked unbothered but he gotta be bothered because he's been blackballed he's been fired by everybody so i don't know what's going to happen with his career i don't know if he's going to face any charges i don't know what's going to happen with the situation but no charges has been brought against jason mitchell and then on top of that jason mitchell has not spoke out in his defense or to say anything in his defense to defend against these allegations that are being brought to the world. He hasn't said not a damn thing. He hasn't said a word, baby. But Leah Waithin, she basically gave Jason Mitchell a second chance. She thought that having a seminar, having a presentation was going to help the situation. And that was season one. So she thought everything was cool. Season two began and she was informed by Floyd that Jason Mitchell is still up to his no good behavior, allegedly. And then the showrunner, Mrs. Floyd, also said that Jason Mitchell started to harass her too as well. So basically, Leah Waite fired Jason Mitchell and got permission from, you know, Showtime and everybody else. So it's just like, damn, his career was just getting started. And then these allegations come. He should have got him some help. If people are complaining about you, Jason Mitchell, and, you know, you're going to a, you're going to a, um, HR presentation about sexual harassment, about code, up, code and conduct, he, like, learn from it. Like, damn, I would have had a... I would have had a yes man, a yes woman. I would have had somebody on my side if I was Jason Mitchell to make sure they watch and monitor my interactions with the cast just to protect myself to make sure that I don't lose and I don't destroy my career. That's what I would have did. I would have had a witness, somebody there to help me to basically make sure that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do because that person could be on set. Jason Mitchell could have did that because Leah Waithin, she really wanted Jason Mitchell on the show. She actually let Tiffany Boone go because Tiffany Boone was like, you know what, I can't deal with this no more. I can't work with him. It's just out of control. Her boyfriend even jumped into the situation too as well. And she just left. And Leah Waite gave 
you know, Jason Mitchell a second shot and allegedly, and he screwed up allegedly. So it's like, damn, like shit. Now Leah wakes, she looks bad. She looks like the bad person. She looks like, you know, she's condoning his behavior, but she was just trying to give him a chance. And she also said that she's a part of the Me Too movement. She's a part of the, you know, Time Out movement, Time's Up movement, and all of the other good stuff. But she just didn't want to throw him under the bus right away she wanted to give him a shot maybe he needed some training and she did the hr training and this dude still messed up allegedly so it's hard to watch the show but i do review the show but i think they should just release the whole season and then start over fresh from season three but it is what it is jason mitchell is 32 years old it's just like damn son should have got some help, some counseling, some therapy, because we all go through some things. We all get upset. We all get excited. And sometimes we don't know our behavior um, offends others, especially when we're at work. So if someone brings it to your attention, do something about it. Just don't sweep it under the rug, allegedly. He should have had somebody on set that was monitoring, recording his behavior, his interactions with other actresses to make sure he wasn't doing wrong, to protect himself, to protect his neck. But it seems like it, it is what it is. And there has been footage released of Jason Mitchell on a plane, acting up, wiling out. But I just can't say just because I've seen that footage that he's actually this guy. Because if I paid... $500 for a seat and they put and they put somebody else on my seat I'll be pissed too as well because there is footage from TMZ a couple of years ago of Jason Mitchell acting up on the plane or whatever So where Tiffany Boone she left the show she didn't leave the show because you know She wanted to be on that show that show is popping the shot is popping is a good cast it get good reviews so for her to actually leave the show and, you know, she's like what? she's like kind of a star of the show, too, as well. For her to leave, you know, he was doing some shit to her. You know, he was doing something, in my opinion. He made her feel uncomfortable. I don't know if he was harassing her. I have no idea. But she left the show. She went to the proper authorities to report what was going on and try to get help. She went to the HR presentation, and the shit continued in season two. So she did what she had to do, and she feared for her safety, and she left. So Tiffany... Boone did what she's supposed to do. And that's what it is. Peace and my one love to all my peeps and my peoples.